Perspectives on Science and Christian Faith, subtitled Journal of the American Scientific Affiliation, is the academic publication of the American Scientific Affiliation. Background The ASA's original constitution provided two goals for the ASA. One, to promote and encourage the study of the relationship between the facts of science and holy scriptures and two, to promote the dissemination of the results of such studies. The establishment of the journal was seen as being in context of these goals. The journal is indexed in the Atla Religion Serials Database. Perspectives on Science and Christian Faith (PSCF) began publication in 1949 as the Journal of the American Scientific Affiliation (JASA). In its first year, the journal was subtitled The American Scientific Affiliation Bulletin. In its first issue, it announced its purpose as being it is intended primarily for the benefit of the ASA members, and interested friends, and it is hoped that it will be instrumental in helping the organization achieve its primary purpose of witnessing to the truth of the scriptures and elucidating the relationship of both the ideology and fruits of science thereto. Furthermore we confidently expect that in the publication of papers presented at the convention and others received from the membership at large, a real service will be rendered each of us in creating an enlarged appreciation and understanding of the Christian position in other fields of science than that of our own specialization. Also through the ASA. Bulletin, we plan to give every interested member the benefit of a constructive criticism and Christian evaluation of papers presented and of reviews of books of great interest or strategic importance. From its beginning the journal included divergent views, and the editorial objectives of the journal, published in December 1950, were a clear indication of the ASA's non-doctrinal focus. Topic. Editors The editors of the JASA, PSCF have been as follows Marion Barnes 1949 research chemist, Lion Oil Company Delbert N. Eggenberger 1951 research physicist, Argonne National Laboratory David O. Moberg 1962 Professor of Sociology, Bethel College, Minnesota Russell L. Mixter 1965 Professor of Biology, Wheaton College, Illinois Richard H. Buba 1969 Professor of Material Science, Stanford University Wilbur Bullock 1984 to 1989 professor of biology University of New Hampshire John W Haas Jr 1990 to 1999 professor of chemistry Gordon College Massachusetts Roman Miller 2000 to 2007 professor of biology Eastern Mennonite University Ari Leigwater 2008 to 2011, Professor of Chemistry, Calvin College. James C. Peterson 2012, Charles and Helen Schumann Chair of Christian Ethics, Roanoke College and Roy A. Hope Professor of Theology and Ethics at McMaster Divinity College, McMaster University. Topic. Debates on the creation-evolution controversy The ASA Journal published various views in the creation-evolution controversy. It carried Bernard Ram's view that the theory of evolution had logical weakness, a 1949 article on "...presuppositions in evolutionary thinking." by young earth creationist E. Y. Monsma, J. Lawrence Culp's 1950 indictment of 
Deluge Geology and Henry M. Morris's anonymous reply to it, Culp's paper, Deluge Geology Execrated Flood Geology, which he stated had "...grown and infiltrated the greater portion of fundamental Christianity in America primarily due to the absence of trained Christian geologists." He asserted that the Major propositions of the theory are contraindicated by established physical and geological laws, and focused on four basic errors the confusion that geology and evolution are synonymous, sick. assuming that life has been on the Earth only for a few thousand years, and therefore the flood must account for geological strata. Misunderstanding the physical and chemical conditions under which rocks are formed. Ignoring recent discoveries, such as radiometric dating, that undermined their assumption. Sculp's conclusion was that a Christian was faced with two choices. Either, one, the Earth was created millions of years ago, or two, God has apparently deceived humanity in providing data which does not support a 6,000 to 10,000 year old Earth. He viewed, flood geology, as offering no third choice, that it was unscientific, ludicrous, and has done and will do considerable harm to the strong propagation of the gospel among educated people." He also accused George McCready Price of ignorance and deception, including misrepresentation of geological data when defending flood geology. The paper failed to evoke the fireworks that Culp and ASA President F. Alton Everest expected it to generate. In the opinion of at least one of the attendees at the annual convention where Monsma's and Culp's papers were first presented, Monsma had lost the debate to Culp, and Culp was appointed that year to the executive council seat that Monsma had vacated. Culp's influence was largely responsible for isolating flood geologists within the ASA, and deluge geology caused them considerable discomfort for years to come. During the editorship of David O. Moberg, the ASA Journal had a heavy emphasis on the creation evolution controversy, with the subject being mentioned in the majority of issues, and the September 1963 issue being almost entirely devoted to it. In 1964, JASA featured a pair of hostile reviews of John C. Whitcomb's and Henry M. Morris's The Genesis Flood, introduced by book review editor Walter R. Hearn, who stated that they had been edited extensively to tone them down a bit and in 1969 published a highly critical commentary by J. R. van der Flyert, a Dutch Reformed geologist at the Free University of Amsterdam, who called Whitcomb and Morris, pseudo-scientific, pretenders, to ensure that no readers missed his point. The journal ran bold-faced sidebars by evangelical geologists applauding Van de Fleert's bare-knuckled approach." In the 1970s, Richard H. Buba defended the viewpoint of theistic evolution in the journal, 